This tutorial is about sensing the proximity between two objects and using that proximity to generate an action. On the screen we have a flying saucer resembling something from a 50s B movie and in front of it a stargate and as our saucer approaches the stargate when it gets within a certain range the gate will open allow the ship to pass through and then subsequently close behind it. Let's open our Expresso editor and discover how we're going to make this happen. The first thing we need to do is drag in the saucer and set it up at the output stage with coordinates, position. We could choose to work with position Z but there's really no need to on this occasion as position works perfectly adequately. The next thing we need to do is drag in the spline star 2 here from our Stargate object which is created using a sweep nerves and a couple of star splines so we'll drag that in there. And we need to work with star 2's global position but don't worry about this for now I've got a tutorial a bit later on which explains the differences between global position and position. The next stage for us is to bring in the node that makes it all happen so we come to new node Expresso Calculate and this time it's the distance node that we need and we'll have a quick look at it. And this is an example of a node that can't be altered in any way. It has two inputs on the left hand side and a single output on the right and you can neither add more nor take any away. So we can plug in our position from the spacecraft here from our saucer into input 1 and our global position from star 2 into input 2 and now we are actually sensing the distance between the two objects and we're outputting a vector based on it. It's a vector value that we're getting there. Our next step is to analyse the proximity of the two objects and we can do this by bringing in a compare node. So if we bring that in there and we'll plug in our output of the distance node into the input one of the compare. And the question that we have to ask is, is the spaceship within 200 metres of the Stargate? In other words, is its position less than or equal to 200? This is the distance at which the saucer will cause the stargate to begin to open. In order to make the gate open and close, we need to call on the services of our old friend the range mapper. So we'll come down to calculate and bring that in. And then we can plug the output from the distance nodes into the input there. Now we know that we want the spacecraft to be within a range of 200 meters when the gate starts to open. So our input lower can be set to 200. And at the zero point, when the spacecraft is in the center of the gate it wants to be at its maximum opening so zero can be the input upper there and then in order to make the actual stargate open we're working with star twos in a radius here it starts at 50 meters and we want it to be fully open at 150 meters so they're the values that we need to place into our range mapper so output lower is 50 output upper 150 that's those two set up and then we have to decide as to whether or not we actually need to use the range mapper and to do so we can use a condition node so we'll bring that one in there plug the output of the compare into the switch and our input 2 of the condition will obviously have to be 50 because we need the radius of the stargate to be 50 when the spaceship is out of range input 3 will be the output from the range mapper to make the stargate open and close when the saucer is in range. And finally, to make the whole thing work, we drag in star 2 again. And at the input stage, we select object properties in a radius. And then plug the output of the condition into the input there. So that's our expression. And if we move our spacecraft or our saucer now towards our gate, when it gets within range, away she goes it opens it allows it through and then closes behind it and of course it works in the opposite direction and it looks great it's simple but I think you'll agree that it's very pleasing on the eye and there you have it so what have we done here let's just do a quick recap we have our saucer and our star 2 and we've set these up with position and global position respectively and as I mentioned earlier there will be a tutorial on the differences between the two We've wired these into a distance node to output their proximity. We've taken this value, which is output as a vector, and we've compared it on this occasion to being less than or equal to 200 meters. We've then said if the proximity of the two objects does fall within this range, we use the output of our range mapper, which range maps 
the inner radius of star 2 between 50 and 150 meters. If the proximity isn't within the correct range, we leave the radius at 50 of the stargate because the starship isn't close enough. And then to finish it all off, we've simply output one or the other of these two conditions to the inner radius of star 2 to make the stargate open and close as needs be. A nice little expression and really quite easy to set up. So that's our tutorial. Hopefully it was another one that was quite fun and enjoyable to do. And you may be able to develop this further by experimenting with the twist parameter of star 2. See if you can make the stargate open in a more interesting way. I'll leave you with that food for thought, and I'll see you as always on the next tutorial.